So this one, oh, you're not part of our people? Yeah. Yeah. They're just checking on what they're doing. So this is a cell. But the cell was built for some female captives that British wanted to rape, but the women refused. Malaria killed the Europeans those days to the extent that they named the coast of West Africa the white man's grave. So I love their name. So only men came, they never brought their wives. So they abused the African women sexually. So in it, so sometimes they want to do that. Some of the women would not, um, like, they, they refused. So they also resisted. They brought them, they had a door. They would lock them for about a week for punishment. They were doing that for other women to see. So that tomorrow, when they get closer to you, you will not fight them. Mm. There was a whole day. That one served their toilet. They passed food and water through this place. Once in a day, sometimes twice. Let's move to the female section. <laughs> Let's move in This is female dungeon. What's this for? This is female dungeon. This is a window. And now my group, we are here, please. And would they separate the babies? Not 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 little babies. Not little babies. Not little children. What would they do with the little ones? No, they didn't bring little children. I was explain to why. Please, shall we come in here, please? There's a lot of people around, so if you don't get closer to me, and if they compare to this, you're good. Right, right. Shall we get closer to this office? Now. There were 300. Hello. Can we have some silence, please? There were 300 women at the time. So 150 women here, 150 in there. And women shouldn't have been enslaved in the first place. Because I told you they were taken to go and work for Europeans on the farms. So we talk of hard labor, weeding and harvesting sugar cane cutting tobacco, working in the mines and in the construction sector. Could have been men. But women were taken. And they were taken to go and breed, to go and give birth. So they'll get more people. So the 300, when they got to the Americas, they multiplied in their millions. And they used them to expand their farms. So they did production and reproduction. And here they were treated like the men. They go to toilet. They will urinate. <coughs> And at the end of every month, <coughs> women pass their menstruation seal. Natural. They did not allow them to clean their teeth. They did not bath for three months. But upon all this humiliation, Europeans still rape some of the African women. So any time they wanted to do that, they'll come from their rooms at the top. They open this or that, they'll look through, and they'll select a woman to the bedroom. Those who said no to that were punished in that cell. Some of the African women became pregnant. So women were ready to go. Pregnant Africans were freed. They built houses for them in Cape Coast town. They kept them there. They gave them food, clothing, and everything. When they gave birth, sometimes they free the mother with the child. But they'll take care of the mother and the baby up to about 10 or more years. And they'll go and take the light skin baby from the mother. They'll bring the mother here again as a slave. Mm. And they gave birth to light skin children, or mulattoes. And they gave names to those children. 
That is how come along the coast of Ghana today, especially where Europeans settled, we have light-skinned people, and most of the Ghanaians having European last names, such as Van Dijk, Van der Poel, Van Vika, Batels, Da Costa, De Souza, Johnson, Coombson, Ferguson, Robinson, Davidson, Jackson, Brown, Bruce, Hughes, all the same sentences. These are names of Europeans. And somebody was asking, why did they take little children? No, not little children were brought here. Because look at the distance that they had to walk to the castles from today's Burkina Faso, Togo, Nigeria. They took people like five, six years. They were not able to walk to this, they would die in the way. And more so because the trade was ongoing, they knew that if they captured one kingdom or one tribe and they take everybody as slaves, the people will be finished. So they will select them. They will take the youth from above 10 years to about 45 years. And they will leave the younger ones in the hands of the 45 and above so that the younger ones also grow. So that's another time they have more to take because the trade lasted 400 years. So if they are taking everybody, including children, the people will be finished and they won't get anybody again. So they selected them. They leave the younger ones for them to grow so that another time they'll get more. So that was the system. So not let the children brought in. Let's move on. Thank you. 